Here we go. That's a nice carrot, eh? Holy smokes. Look at that one. <laughs> right now, these are grocery store produce quality parsnips. There's no new growth. The flavor's excellent. Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com. And uh, it's time to use up the stuff that's underneath my, my domes. Uh, I harvested a lot of my root vegetables before uh, freeze up and uh, I've used everything up. And I've been out here the last couple weeks, just the odd day, uh, getting stuff out of here. This is carrots here. Um, but really things have been so cold. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of snow here. And it's, we've had a lot of, we've had weird weather this winter where it'll, we'll get a lot of snow and then it'll all melt and rain away. And then we'll get a lot more snow and then it'll all melt away. Um, that's not indicative of the whole of Nova Scotia where I live, Nova Scotia, Canada, but coastal areas have that weird sort of weather pattern where the snow doesn't stick around. It'll get snow, but then it melts uh, because it'll warm up and rain for 24 hours and then it'll freeze down to minus 15 Celsius and then it'll warm up to plus 8 Celsius and all that can happen in the dead of winter. So it's a bizarre place. Um, anyway, a week ago when I came out here, I was pulling some carrots out of this bed and they were just frozen right into the ground. Um, but it's been a nice sunny day today. It was sunny yesterday. And these domes, they really only keep things from freezing if it's been sunny. Uh, and I would say uh, January and February weren't very sunny here. Um, so um, anyway, I'm gonna pull some things out of the garden. Let's see what's left. I, I don't, very, got very few carrots left, but let's see what we got here. And let's see what state these are in. bring you over a little bit closer. So you can see under the dome here, I've got gear for getting carrots out of the ground. I got these sort of digging stick type things and a, and a mallet. I probably won't need those today. I should put my gloves on. So there's still freeze in this. That is to say, uh, if you dig deep enough, I think, oh, maybe not. In the center, anyway, it's thawed all the way down. Okay, I'm correct, I'm correct. Correction. Yeah, towards the side, there's still, so that's still frozen on the sides here. And you'll remember, um, late fall, I ran around and dug up all the carrots that were around the edge. Like, that's what you gotta do, is that the edge freezes first. But I think there's, I don't think there's much left in here. I'll just probe around a little bit with this digging stick. There's a carrot here. Boy, it's right on the edge of the frozen part. Just, just on the edge. There we go. That's a nice carrot, eh? That might be the last <laughs> fresh carrot in the garden. I mean, aside from things I just missed, I was out here with my daughter the other day getting a few carrots to go with our supper. But I think we might be, I think that might be it. Maybe this is one. There's a carrot, that's a nice one. This one's gone a bit soft, look at that. Must have got too cold towards the edge. I'll show you what that looks like. The carrots can't take the cold as well as some other things. All right, so this is the only carrot that uh, basically got too cold. So right here, yeah, see it's soft, <laughs> right? That's just, a carrot can only get so cold. And then it sort of, the, the cell, cell structure gets damaged by the cold. Uh, it's near the edge of the dome and just didn't make it. Right, I've picked. As far as I know, I've picked every carrot out of here. I think I got them all. Um, so, that's the only one. This looks like a carrot. No, it's not. Yeah, as far as I know, that's the only one that got damaged because I got all the edge, the ones from the edge out uh, before I started. So I think, I think that's it for carrots, unless I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'll be digging in here and I'll, I've missed one. Now I don't know what 
what I have in store for this bed in terms of a garden plan, I'll have to check. But uh, I think it's warm enough under this dome. I mean, the weather could change, but I mean, the way things have been going the last few years with um, uh, climate change, I mean, it's, it's gradual and it doesn't affect everywhere the same way, but um, I think it's worth your while to gamble on it being warmer than usual every year <laughs> as a gardener. Uh, you know, if you're wrong, you're out a, a $3 pack of seeds. Um, anyway, I'll have to check my garden plan, but if I, if I, if I'm able to, I think I might plant some spinach or I find spinach and lettuce are sort of an ideal early season crop, really early, like this time of year. It's certainly thawed enough. I mean, so all the other beds here, the, the, uh, you know, like, see, this looks like springs come early to my garden, but it's just this bed under the dome. Everything else, I don't know if you can see over here, but everything else is just frozen solid, <laughs> like ice, right? Uh, I'll have to check to see how, you know, that'd be a separate video, but check to see exactly how, how frozen things are. But yeah, this other bed's is just a hockey rink. Here, let's go see about uh, the parsnips. I got some parsnips in another bed. All right, so this bed here hasn't been accessed since December in any way. This is parsnips, so the parsnips that were left over, un unharvested parsnips. Yeah. And this is the time of year to harvest them. I mean, you don't want them to start growing on you. Their flavor changes when you do that. A mallet, just in case I need it, but boy, she seems, uh, well, she seems pretty soft here. I think there's a row of parsnips here somewhere. There's one. A lot of rocks in the soil, so the parsnips all sort of got this weird octopus sort of shape. Some of them. I had pars parsnips in this bed as well. So this is great. I mean, yeah, this seems to be thawed out pretty good. I mean, this isn't much of a dome, but you know, I got it raised up just a little bit. And it seems to allow a little bit of air circulation in there. Boy, that one seems pretty solid. Ugh, it's a nice one, eh? These are Albions, I think. The Albion parsnip. I'm gonna have to step in here, unfortunately. The way around it. Weird looking one there. They can't all be champions, right? Very sandy soil here, that's probably why. So the sandier soils thaw out faster than the uh, clay soils. And that's evidenced by the, the walking paths in my garden, which are just pure sand, are completely thawed today. <laughs> that's a nice one. I miss those funny looking guys. Weird looking ones near the side there. Plan is to get these all out today because uh, they're going to start to grow soon. <laughs> There's just no getting around it. My right knee is bugging me today so much that I got a brace on it. I took my two kids for a hike this morning. I don't know how many, like four kilometers or something like that. And uh, the knee's okay, but it's fine for hiking, but this sort of crouching and stuff like that does not, the knee is not happy with this, uh, this sort of activity at all. Got a person in here that's completely crooked. Those ones are so difficult to get out. A little bit of ice near the side. This guy just does not want to come out. There we go. Oh, weird shape. Very weird. Look at that. <laughs> what a weird looking parsnip. Got a nice one here. Standard shape. 
restaurant quality. Like a little deposit of parsnips right there. Whole bunch in one place. Varying sizes. Yeah, there's just no point leaving these things in the ground when it's this time of year. Get them out, get them in the fridge, and uh, organize your diet around them. <laughs> just get eating them. Because <laughs> they... Boy, that one is frozen in place. How did I miss that guy? Oh, I can't get him out. Not moving. You might think it's kind of primitive using this uh, stick, but I find it it's good for probing. You don't damage them too much, whereas a metal tool might. You know, it's just good for finding. You can just sort of rake it along the ground. Sure, you got to get you got to get down there. You got to bend and crouch. Now, generally speaking, that's in my opinion, anyway, that's that's good for you. Probably not good for my knee today. Holy smokes! Look at that one. <laughs> I mean, people have different attitudes toward gardening. About you know, I mean, if you've got a health problem and you're going to aggravate it by gardening, then of course don't do it. But it depends on the problem. You know, to me. If uh, my knee's bugging me, or my ankles are bugging me, or something like that, I can't get into that. That's frozen solid there. Um, if it's something I can wrap up and tape up and get at it, um, you know, it's not like you're in the Olympics or anything like that, you know. So, uh, I think getting out there is important. There's a couple more in here I just can't get out because they're frozen in place. There's nothing you can do about those. I'm kind of rambling off, off here, but I haven't, haven't been on camera for a while. Honestly, I've sort of forgotten uh, the style of uh, video making. I tell you, it is nice to be digging in the garden. You know, picking something, harvesting something. I find towards the end of December, I just start running out of steam in terms of my my willingness to be in the garden. I'm interested in doing other things. Interested in just getting a break from it all. I do enjoy it, but I also am a, I like having a, I enjoy gardening a lot, but I also enjoy getting a little break from it. You know, like, I like the ebbs and flows of life, and I like the fact that we have these intense seasons that that provide that for us, right? Forced you to take a break, you know, work on some other work on some other skill, develop some other interest. All right, so there's a handful down here in the corner that I just can't get at. I believe those are all the ones that are left in this bed. So, so I'm going to reposition the dome so that it'll focus, focus the heat, focus the energy on this section. Like that, spread that out. I mean, some people are going to be saying, Shouldn't you put black plastic on that? Uh, in my opinion, no. The soil is dark, and the sun heats dark things. So I think, I'm speaking to my climate here, where I am, and I've played around and done experiments. You want to go do a deep dive in some of my older videos. But clear past plastic over bare soil is the most effective way to heat up the soil in a garden. At least where I am. Uh, 
I'll put the sucker back on. Pop it right down in the corner here. All right, so the beds aren't perfectly square. Now I'll get it right down in the corner there. Using some of this junk here to sort of insulate it a bit. I'll put this hammer down here just to remind me the hammer and digging tool to remind me that there's uh, still some unharvested parsnips in the corner. Hopefully the heat, uh, a couple days of sun like this, uh, and it should get that out. Really, this is the first day um, since winter hit where you feel like the spring days are uh, right around the corner. That's what it feels like to me. Sort of the, the I can see winter ending and spring beginning. That's not to say we won't get some more cold days and some more cold blasts, but uh, yeah, definitely it's a day for optimism <laughs> from a gardener's point of view. Anyway, sort of a rambling all over the place video, just uh, you know, back in the garden video, picking some of uh, last year's uh, vegetables. We're gonna be gorging on these for the next few weeks. If you, if you have an abundance of parsnips, you can view them like a starch in your diet, uh, more so than a, a vegetable, to put it that way. So when I got a lot to use up this, like this, uh, instead of having potatoes with a meal, we just have like parsnips. <laughs> Everybody likes them and in a lot of ways, roasted anyway. They're, they're more, more complex flavor than a potato anyway. Um, and then they, they go good with rosemary, with garlic, salt, pepper, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the general theme of this video is just, if you're in my situation where you got some stuff still on the ground and things are starting to thaw out and it's this time of year, end of February, get them out, use them up, start using everything up. They're not growing yet. There's no new growth on these, but they're going to start growing soon. And once they start growing, the flavor starts going downhill. Let's put it that way. Right now, these are grocery store produce quality parsnips. There's no new growth. The flavor is excellent. Same with the carrots. Sweet. Even though the size of those carrots, they are sweet and tender carrots, despite the fact that, uh, of course, it's underneath everything here. <laughs> Where is that guy? Well, Mr. Carrot. So despite this thing being like two and a half inches wide, <laughs> being a big carrot, right? Um, they're sweet and tender. Um, there's nothing like letting a carrot winter. Uh, as long as you can keep that soil from freezing too much, um, they just taste great. I mean, variety matters and all that sort of thing as well. But anyway, a bit of an all over the place video. So happy to be out in the garden, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I thought I'd bring you out with me anyway. And uh, you could see that, uh, you know, last winter's uh, sort of fall's laziness, me not harvesting these, is now, you know, end of winter's bounty. Because I've got fresh parsnips from the garden, delicious tasting. We're gonna be eating these tonight. <laughs> Hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.